Hello everyone, this is Motion Graphic here and today in this video we are going to create this beautiful landscape animation. In this video you will learn that how you can animate these trees and then this reflection, clouds, sun and in the end you will learn that how you can convert this night into this beautiful morning. You can download this file from freepick.com. This file is free to use but make sure to give the credit to the author. After downloading this file, you can open this file with an illustrator. I am opening this file in illustrator because we need to separate the layers that we want to animate in After Effects. If you want to skip this part at any time, you can always check the video description. I have given the timestamps to skip the video to your favorite part. So without wasting any time, let's start the tutorial. Okay, on the left side I have the layers panel. If you cannot see this layers panel, you can go into the window and check this layers window. Within this layer, you can you need to open this object layer because this object layer contains all the layers that we want to animate. Then again, click on this group and in, on the first layer you can see that we have the clouds and the sun. So open this layer and then click on this circle. You can see this one is sun shadow or the sun brightness. Press Ctrl X to cut it. Create a new layer by clicking on this button and then paste it by using Ctrl Shift V or Command Shift V on the Mac. Then click on this layer. You can see that this group contains the cloud and sun and you can press on this circle to separate the clouds. Press Ctrl X, create a new layer and then paste the clouds. And then you can see that this one contains the sun. Click on this circle, press Ctrl X and I'm gonna paste it on sun's shadow by using command shift v rename it to sun and this one is cloud you can rename it to cloud i'm going to separate this little cloud from this group click on this drop down button and then separate this little cloud by pressing this circle Control x create a new layer and then command shift v or Control shift v for the windows okay now we have separated the cloud we need to separate these two clouds from this object layer click on this object layer and then again this main object group okay now within this object layer you can see this one is the big cloud you can press ctrl x to cut it create a new layer and then paste it by using command shift v rename it to as cloud after that you need to separate the this this little cloud as well for that you can press command and select this layer by left clicking it you can see that this one is highlighted on the layers panel you can click on this circle press ctrl x create a new layer and then paste it by using command shift v okay now we also need to separate this these three trees you can click on this little circle press ctrl x to cut it then create a new layer and then paste it by using command shift v we need to separate these three trees from this foreground for that you need to click on this drop down button then again on this drop down button within this group and then select by pressing this little icon or little circle hold the command and then click other these two trees as well press ctrl x or command x to cut it create a new layer and then paste it by using command shift v now these three trees has been separated as well rename them to three trees and you can rename it to foreground of trees it's time to separate the water and this reflection for that you can see that this water is available within this main objects layer press on the circle control x to cut it create a new layer and then command shift v for this water and for the reflection you can see this one is reflection press control x to cut it create a new layer and then paste it by using command shift to v make sure that this shadow layer is above water layer okay now you can see that all the layers have been separated rename the this shadow tree and this one is water okay after renaming this file you can change the background to sky you can see that the layers of this illustrator file has been separated now it's time to save this file by going into file and save as make sure that dot ai has been selected rename it to landscape edited file dot ai press on save press ok and now we are done with the illustrator it's time to import the illustrator file within after effects open after effects and 
then drag this landscape edited file into After Effects. From the import kind, make sure that you have selected the composition, press OK. And after that, you can see that the new composition has been created on the left side. You can see that it is 500 by 500. Double click on it. Okay, now within this composition, you can see that the layers we have separated in the Illustrator is available within After Effects. And then we will change its composition size to 1920 by 1080, but after, after doing the animation. I am deleting this design by free pick layer and this texture layer because we do not need them. After that, we are going to animate this clouds layer one by one. Let's, Let's rename the layers 9 to cloud. Select all this cloud layer. Make sure that you are on the first frame of these layers. Press P for the position value and then click on this timer icon to keyframe the position value. Now move this now move this time indicator to around 10 seconds and change the position value of these clouds one by one. Select this first cloud and change the X position to around here. For the second cloud, change their position to around this. For this third and fourth, I'm changing these position value to around here. And this for this fourth one, you can change it to around here. Now close these all cloud layers and preview it again. Yes, they are looking good. Now it's time to animate these three trees. I'm going to use the puppet pin tool to animate these three trees. Select these three trees and then select this puppet pin tool. Add one puppet pin on its base and the second on the middle and the third on its tip. Now go into the mesh, deform and select this base pin. Remove this position keyframe value. Make sure that the other puppet pin points keyframe value is still there. You do not need to remove this position keyframe values. Now I'm gonna use a script to animate these three trees. Go into the file, script and run script file. Link to download the script file is available within video description. Open the script file and then click on this run. Now you can see that these trees are animating but they are too much wavy. You can go into the effect and control panel. Make sure to select the three trees layer and change the amplitude value to three. Now preview it again. You can see that the three trees is animating in a very great way. Now it's time to animate the water and this reflection. Select the shadow tree and the water. Press Ctrl D or Command D to duplicate it. Turn off this duplicated layer. We are going to need these two layers later. Select these two layers, shadow tree and the water tree. Right click, recompose it and rename it to water layer. I'm going to use a free plugin to animate this water and the tree shadow that is called animation composer. Link is given below in the video description. This, this tool is free to use. You need to go into the effect and presets panel and then 2D layer transformation and then warp and then apply this warp to on this main on this pre-composition layer. Press on this apply button. Now if you preview it, you can see that the water animation has been done but it is too much wavy. To reduce it, you need to go into effect and controls panel and change the wave height to 2. Now if you preview it again, you can see that the wave animation has been done but there is a black bar above and below it. To remove that, you need to turn on these two layers and then mask them out one by one. I am turning off this pre-composition layer. I'm selecting this shadow tree layer and then this mask tool and then applying this mask around here. For this water, select this mask tool and apply this around here. Now if you turn back, now if you turn on this water layer, you can see that now if you preview it again, you can see that the black bar has been removed and the water animation has been done. Now it's time to animate the sun. Make sure that you are on the first frame of this layer. Press P for position value and then keyframe it. Now change the time indicator to around 5 seconds and then again keyframe it. Go to your first frame of this layer and then change its Y position to around here. Now drag this sun value above sky layer. 
now preview it you will see that the sun animation has been done okay cool now it's time to do the night to morning animation for that select all the layers except the sun and the sky right click pre-compose it and rename it to as objects layer if you preview it you can see that the animation is correct if you see any warning due to the use of script you can press or you can cross that out it will work fine now it's time to add the effects i'm closing this animation composer plugin go into the effects and presets panel and search the curve effect apply this curve effect on your objects layer now change the channel to red and then drag this out like this and now select the channel green drag this out around here now select the channel blue and then drag this up to around here you can now apply another effect that is the color balance you need to select this color balance hlc now drag and drop this on on your objects layer change the lightness value to around minus 17 and the saturation value to around minus 29 okay cool we will apply these two effects on our sky as well but before that let's animate these curve and the color balance effect for that make sure that you are on the first frame of this layer and then click on this curve timer icon and then saturation lightness timer icon move the time indicator to around 5 seconds and then change the lightness to 0 and saturation to 0 as well and now change the curve position to their original position ok great we are done with the animation but you need to copy and paste the same both of these effects value on the sky as well make sure that you are on the first frame select both of these effects and then apply on sky as well by using ctrl c or command c command v if you preview it again you can see that the great landscape and the night animation has been done you can reduce this wavy animation i guess it is too much wavy uh, you can always go into objects and then change the their their amplitude to two so that it looks less wavy okay great okay now for the night sky i want some star as well you can download that file from freepic.com i have given the link in the video description i'm importing this .jpg file and then this .jpg file above this layer you can scale this down to around 18 and then apply the effect color key linear color key on this jpg file select this select this color picker and then select some blue color or dark color and then change the position value to around here apply this mask ellipse tool and then drag this around here I have removed this linear color key and reduced the opacity value to 32. Now click on this timer icon and then around 5 seconds change the opacity to 0 and preview this again. Good, it, look, it is looking good. Now it's time to change the resolution size to 1920 by 1080. For that, create a new composition, call it as main comp, and change the width to 1920 and height to 1080. Press OK. Drag this landscape edited composition into our main comp, and then scale this up until you got the desired result. You can play this with around and change it accordingly your own choice 
cool. Okay, that's all from today. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon in our next videos. Thank you very much. And then curves too. Uh, I'm gonna use the puppet pin tool. I'm gonna use the puppet pin tool. Select this puppet pin point and then select this puppet position pin tool. Make sure that you are on the first 